conversation that I had with my ex-partner when we were talking about content creation was always like, like where's the where's the filmmaker behind the sofa documenting this exact conversation that we are having right now that is so impactful that is better than all the podcast episodes we can put out there. Oh, there's no filmmaker. Mm, okay, then we need to get the podcast mic and tell everything after it happened. Not being fully in the moment, but with this distance afterwards. Since two months, two months. I'm doing these videos now, ah! almost each and every day. Papa, yeah. Ah! We are approaching episode 50. What did you see? Uh. What did you see? Uh. Ah, yeah, I see. I see. Oh. Let's, let's get some of those as well. Zach, here they are. One, One. two, nice. We are approaching episode 50 and yeah. I, just, <laughs> I just had a memory of a conversation like here, like here. with my ex-partner, maybe six years ago where <laughs> where I like where we thought about our sickness of content creation of taking a camera and talking something and like, taking the podcast mic and, sh and sharing something and Papa, we realized that the best content that we can put out there is the documentation of our lives because our lives are so colorful, so many things are going on, and we Papa, have Papa, no problem with sharing all Papa, that. Yeah? Some flutes? Yeah. yeah, we're going to the river that we can jump, jump in it. And we have no problem with sharing all that, and the same is true now, so that we actually don't want to create content in an active way, we want content to be created in a passive way. Instead of giving any, whoa, big car. Instead of giving any teachings, any lectures, any sharings, any tips, whatever, it would be probably the most valuable content that we can put out there if people can just Maybe. follow along on our life journey in a super authentic Papa. way. Yeah. Autobus. 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 Yeah. Honking. And. and. Jumping into the river or the waterfall is getting our morning morning routine. And I always try to get Leo in the water with me. But it's very cold now. I was always like, come on, let's get in. And he was always like, no, 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 no water. And sometimes when we are when we were walking down the the stairs to the waterfall, he was all he was like, oh no no, back, 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 back. Because he didn't want it to go in the water. And then at a certain moment I let go of that and I was just like, okay. I just go into the water and I let him Mama. do whatever he wants. Mama. Yeah. Mama. Yeah. Mama. Oi. Oi. And then yesterday I just went into the water as Mama. usual and I let him play with stones on the shore and he came in the water with me. And today again. Yeah. Yeah. The water is flowing there. Huh? Beautiful. And this reminded me of the power of just doing nothing and letting other people perceive that and then this will do whatever is right for them with them. Today we are back <laughs> in the jungle, quite literally. We are again exploring the surroundings of the 1.2 hectare jungle land that we found in order to get a deeper sense of might this be the right place and on Google Maps I discovered that there is apparently a waterfall close by to the land and I said to Adi our local guide hey there's a waterfall and he said yes I know this place but for a long time there has not been a single human being it must be very wild very crowded and I said let's go there Thirty 
kilometers from where the last shot was recorded and there was no nice transition there was no documentary of what happened in the meantime of the conversations and like epic home cooked dinner that, uh, lunch that we just had and so on and so on like the problem is being the documenter and the person being documented is very very hard <laughs> you it's almost impossible to be both i'm trying as best as possible with these videos to document the journey but most of the time that is spent in these videos is me talking into the camera while it would be so much more authentic if I would not be talking to the camera but if I would be talking to other people that I'm with and this gets documented in the second it's happening yeah but I cannot do that just by myself because <laughs> yeah I cannot s split my I need I would need to clone myself one person one Robert would be the filmmaker and one Robert would be in front of the camera that would be nice but until that's possible the real authentic documentary will not be feasible Coaching sessions with our custodia preneurs. <sighs> mm. Nice. <gasps> Fritz, let me continue the story that I began to tell before the conversation that I had with my ex-partner when we were talking about content creation was always like like where's the where's the filmmaker behind the sofa documenting this exact conversation that we are having right now that is so impactful that is better than all the podcast episodes we can put out there oh there's no filmmaker mm, okay then we need to get the podcast mic and tell everything like from from after from the from from a place of like after it happened not being fully in the moment but with this distance afterwards because the filmmaker is not lurking behind the sofa and documenting this exact moment. <sighs> and this really got a little running gag of everything. Every time something like really powerful happened, that would be the best content that we can put out there. It was always like, where's the filmmaker? Oh, there's no filmmaker. Ma. Okay. <sighs> time to change that. Time to change that. Like, my life, everything that is happening each and every day feels like the best content that I can put out there better than every pinpointed message I can share just like documenting that so yeah hmm <laughs> the next step is coming the next step is coming I'm currently booking a flight in exactly a month from now on the 2nd of September not for me but for two Absolutely amazing people. Hello. Look at that. We are Robin and Anastasia. And what called us to be part of Custodian is exactly that. These two beautiful souls will not only join us in December in Custodia Bali, they will join forces with me the 2nd of September. We'll come to Bali, join the team and co-create magic and Anastasia. will support the creation of those videos. Probably she will be the one who is sitting behind the sofa when the meaningful, deep, important conversations are taking place so that they can be captured in real time instead of me talking about them afterward. And Robin will support as a as an all-rounder he brings many gifts many talents many skills to the table and is perfectly equipped to serve the emergence of custodia and everything else that we are doing mm. so looking forward 
to welcome the two of them here. And yes, as much as it's like normal for me to be transparent and to share, like yesterday I shared my, my financial report of the past three months, I, like all the numbers, everything that I'm earning and that I'm spending and I, I talk about everything parenting, my personal journey, relationships, like everything that's going on in my life I put out there into the world and still there's a comfort zone inside myself of like <gasps> things being documented in real time brings a certain sense of tingling <laughs> and I appreciate that yeah and there's a deep longing inside myself as well as a feeling of like Ooh. Yeah. The, like when I look at these videos they are like 20-25% of where I see them possible where they can be in the future and so I'm grateful for what, I, what I'm able to create just myself in the here and now and still pushing towards where these videos can be what really drives the creation of these videos is to create a transparent, authentic case study of a person building the more beautiful world for himself and his loved ones on a personal scale and contributing as much as possible on the broader collective scale with everything that that entails with the personal growth with the entrepreneurial journey with the health with the family with the children with the community with like everything this is something that's not existing you see many great people doing great things in the world and you see what they are doing right now but you don't see the path and for the people of whom you can see the path because they were doing something similar they're not doing what i'm doing they're not like of course there are daily vloggers what they what, what what i did in the past like almost two years 2015 2016 i documented my life but it was mostly characterized by me skateboarding through berlin meeting with friends doing nice things attending attending conferences putting content out there selling my stuff whatever it's it was not on the on the scale on the like i wasn't following a truly deep and meaningful purpose as I'm doing right now and this brings a another flavor yeah really making the path visible over the next years and maybe even decades this is what fascinates me so that somebody in 10 years when we build like community all over the world and like everything that I'm envisioning on the inside is materialized on the outside somebody can go back to day one where I was sitting in the jungle on a piece of land that we will not not build on <laughs> that was not possible in the meantime like talking about my vision with my vision board go back to this day one and then binge watch the whole journey to the present reality and be able to benefit from all the learnings all the journey all the processes, all the trials and errors, all the fails and all the successes. This is what truly fascinates me. This is what drives the creation of these videos to make this case study. Yeah, and this begins with full transparency on every level. Because otherwise it's a... Yeah, it's a nice show. It's entertainment. But it's not as valuable as it can be if it were fully authentic.